Hello, hello, my beautiful Cancerians. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October New Moon reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. So glad to have you. Today we're going to dive into the energy of the New Moon, which does happen to land on around October 6th, depending on your location. And we'll flow into that full moon on October 20th. We are going through a retrograde at this time as well uh, in Mercury. So there may be things coming up for you from the past. And we'll see how we can navigate through that energy for you, Cancer. We'll also take a look at where your energy is currently at. Uh, what obstacles or challenges may arise for you. We'll take a look at your fullest potential. The energy to keep that momentum going for whatever it is you're trying to achieve. And then lastly, we'll take a look at action steps for you here, Cancer. And uh, just a friendly reminder, this is a general reading, not a one-on-one. -on -one, so please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in signing up for a free reading or even a personal reading, Cancer, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so uh, tuning in right away, I'm hearing the name Gregory. So if your name is Gregory, or if you are dealing with a Gregory, please pay uh, extra attention as it will not resonate with everyone. We have Trust in the Magic, White Raven Spirit. So a lot of you may be focusing intently at this time on a new career opportunity, on a new hobby or new adventure uh, showing up here, but I feel like this could be relationships as well, trusting in the magic in relationships. Uh, but there's almost a surrender feeling here where you're surrendering yourself at this time and you're being a little more vulnerable to others at this time, Cancer. You are being more vulnerable with yourself and you're trusting that life is magical, that the process is magical. And you're kind of going with the flow instead of resisting. I feel like there may have been clarity uh, that was brought to the surface here because we do have in your energy triumphant success this is the ace of swords energy so this is all about open communication with others but it is about being vulnerable and honest and raw so i feel like if there were uh, any confusions going around within a relationship or you were confused about a job opportunity i feel like you're finally reaching clarity some sort of new understanding and you're cutting through anything that doesn't serve you. It's almost like you had an aha moment or a light bulb moment regarding somebody in your energy field. It could be relationships, romantic, it can be work relationships, it can be family members and friends, but I feel like you're cutting through the barriers and you're overcoming obstacles, not just with others, but within yourself as well. And you're trusting that uh, the process, you're trusting that um, that there is magic within the process. Even if you are going through something negative here, oh goodness, I'm getting another name right away. Uh, I'm getting the name Misty, Misty. So uh, if your name is Misty, I feel like you are overcoming obstacles, especially regarding communication. So we're gonna dive in and clarify this card for you. I'm just asking Spirit which cards to use here. Okay, we're gonna use the Tarot of the Mystical Moments here. Whoa, right away, okay. The Queen of Cups energy. You're trusting your intuition here, Cancer. You're trusting your intuition. And uh, I feel like with the Queen of Cups showing up, again, you're doing a lot of self-healing on your own self, but you're realizing that you deserve love. And if you're cutting through barriers, so this is people coming into your energy. If they are not showing you that love that you deserve, Cancer, I feel like you're cutting through it and you're saying, you know what, I love you, I honor you, I respect you as a person, but it's my turn to walk away. Or you're going towards somebody at this time as well and you're saying, you know what, you have showed me. Uh, you have showed me that you are opening your heart up to me at this time and I am uh, in return going to trust in this process, trust in this magical beginning. If this is career related as well, many of you may be doing something that you are more emotionally fulfilled in. You are cutting through the barriers. You may receive communication uh, or opportunities to do something more fulfilling, more emotionally fulfilling. Again, 
this uh, Queen of Cups is your energy here, here, Cancer. This is you being highly, highly intuitive, very compassionate, uh, emotionally secure as well. Uh, you, you're a natural healer. People want to listen to what you have to say, but you also think very deeply as well. And so I feel like in the moment, there's communications that are actually going to open the doorway for a lot of growth. A lot of growth between you and others and you at, and yourself at this time. You're breaking through the barriers with the Seven of Wands energy. The Seven of Wands is saying you're going to stand your ground. You're going to be at your personal best because uh, you've been through a lot. You've had to defend yourself. You've felt attacked. You've been misunderstood. And now you're finally making amends with the people, situation. Uh, maybe it's fear. Maybe it's limiting beliefs. But you're cutting through all of the BS and you're breaking free from what's been holding you back. And for many of you, uh, it's communication with others. And if people aren't communicating clearly to you, you, I feel like you are trusting in divine timing and trusting that perhaps uh, divine timing and your timing is not is completely um, separate at times and you're trusting in the magic again with this white raven you're trusting in the magic in the process of the divine and you're realizing that these things uh, you're breaking free from I really love this energy for you. You can see that there's love tattooed onto his chest here. There is fighting. There is pain. Uh, there is growth. There is beauty. So you've been through a lot here, Cancer. But I feel like you're breaking free from the norm. And uh, you're not conforming to the way other people think you should be. Or what you should be. Or who you should be. Uh, so for example, let's say your parents said you really should go to school to be this. And... Uh, or you should follow in the footsteps of the family business, but you didn't want to do that. I feel like even if you spent years doing something that somebody else wanted you to do cancer, you're breaking free from the restrictions of whatever is holding you back. And sometimes it is that belief within you saying, well, I need to do this because it's important to somebody else. But now you're doing it for you. So I really do like this energy cancer. All right, let's take a look at uh, possibly any challenges that are coming in for you and what you should focus on manifesting or how you can navigate through the challenges here. What are the challenges showing up for cancer? Destiny. All right, we have the destiny card. This is the wheel of fortune. So the challenge is uh, resistance. And even though I do see you cutting through barriers, there's still a piece of you that wants to hang on, whether it's hanging on to uh, the cycle, okay? It can be a karmic cycle between you and another person. It can be a job that's a karmic cycle. Uh, but I feel like a lot of you are going round and round and round, not quite sure how to get off this wheel. And this, I feel like you will, you are breaking free. You do have the seven of wands. So whatever you feel stuck in, during this new moon energy, I feel like you're breaking free from it here. Uh, destiny is all about fate intervening and saying, Cancer, you've put in a lot of time, energy, and effort, possibly doing things for other people, uh, but not fully uh, loving yourself. You've loved a lot of other people. You've put in time, energy, and effort towards a lot of things that maybe haven't completely fulfilled your heart, but I feel like you are breaking free from that and um, you're actually stepping into this new cycle where you're going to bring a lot of uh, luck, a lot of good fortune with this, her uh, excuse me, with this wheel of fortune here. I feel like there is unexpected changes coming in and I feel like you're going to have a lot of luck and fortune after a time of letting go and jumping off this wheel and I certainly see you doing that, especially if you felt like you've been through maybe a bout of bad luck here in the past. I feel that the challenge for you, again, is to get off this wheel, to end this cycle, jump off once and for all, and uh, free yourself. But let's clarify this energy. Spirit, can you please tell me a little bit more about the wheel for cancer? What is this never-ending cycle that they feel sometimes it's just hard to jump off of? Oh my Lord, seven of wands, exactly the same energy we're getting here is you breaking free. Okay, very, uh, thank you for clarifying spirit, uh, but very, 
simple energy here everything we just spoke about here break um, breaking free from the norm but also they're telling me ripping off the band-aid so some of you if this is a relationship that you've been feeling like it's a never-ending cycle whether it's uh, with a family member or co-worker a lover whoever this is for you it's ripping off the band-aid okay uh, there's this old cliche that or quote that says uh, you will continue to bleed and ooze on everybody else until you reach in and pull out the core and I feel like that's what you're doing is you're ripping off some sort of a band-aid you're getting to the root of the problem here or the issue in this dynamic this situation this relationship and uh, you're breaking free from what's holding you back all right let's take a look here and see what you'll focus on manifesting what is it that you want to manifest besides freedom we see that you will uh, be breaking free from what's holding you back here and it will be successful you have triumphant success is your energy your main energy and focus so let's take a look at what you are you're manifesting strength to do this cancer this is very very powerful the strength card says you are stronger than you think here cancer okay uh the the strength card is all about willpower, courage, and uh, fearlessly walking into the unknown. And I feel like you're manifesting this beautiful opportunity around, uh, they're actually telling me around the 8th, even though we have that new moon in the 6th, uh, I feel like your power day or your strength day to really do something and step outside of yourself that you're going to feel really proud of uh, may have may come in around the 8th of October as well. So I like this energy for you. Let's uh, let's clarify. Spirit, can you please tell me a little more about the strength card showing up as what my beautiful Cancerians are manifesting at this time? You're definitely manifesting a jumping off that wheel is what I'm sensing here. Okay, so we have a few cards that came up. All right. So, oh, wow, you're, you may be receiving some opportunity. Like I said in the very beginning, you may re receive an opportunity that's going to be more emotionally fulfilling. This may be somebody coming back with an apology. This possibly could be you or somebody coming towards you with an offer of love uh, or maybe a career position or opportunity that's going to be more financial, oh, more financially and emotionally secure is what they're telling me. Knights take action. So I feel like you're taking action or somebody may be taking action towards you and it may come in unexpectedly. It may come in very, very quick. Uh, something kind of out of the blue for you. You're seeing from a whole new perspective with this uh, surrender card. You're surprised. I feel like you're surprised. You didn't think that this was going to happen, but I feel like because we're clarifying the strength, what happens when you actually make this move is everything that I am uh, talking about right now. Once you step off that wheel, somebody is either going to come back with some sort of an apology, some sort of offer. You're going to receive an offer that's going to happen way quicker. You're just going to jump off the wheel and you're going to still be rolling pretty much. And uh, you're going to be rolling when you have an opportunity. You're pretty much going to land right at the door that's going to open up to new opportunities for you. And it may surprise you, uh, but we have the Eight of Wands and then we have the New Beginning. The Eight of Wands, again, is communication. This is the Chariot's little sister here. So again, you have two opportunities, I feel, coming in for you that you're not expecting and with the magician card you're actually manifesting this even though it comes in unexpected so for example let's say you have a goal to build a business and achieve a lot of uh, success or maybe the overall goal is to meet somebody that fully is committed to you uh, in in love okay so you have the goal but you're not quite sure how to get there and I feel like that's what's coming in for you unexpectedly yes you've been manifesting the overall goal but you weren't expecting the things to come in like they did so I love this for you so as soon as you step into that strength piece uh, that power whatever it is that you're getting off that never-ending cycle of you're gonna see beautiful new opportunities coming in for you here all right Let's take a look here and see what your greatest potential is, Cancer. I love this reading for you. It's very, uh, very beautiful, full of clarity, full of new beginnings, new opportunities that you are stepping through because you're manifesting. Let's see what your fullest potential is during this moon cycle. Movement, choices, and decisions. This is the Two of Pentacles. 
This is all about uh, your weighing up decisions. You're balancing your work and play at this time. You can see here that not only are the decisions in with coins, you can see finances, uh, you can see rings over here, so love, you can see growth, inner growth potential, and then you can see it's almost like the sky is the limit. So not only are you focusing on one area of your life, you may be tackling many different things at this time. You may say, hey, I'm going to start a new exercise regime. I'm going to work on any patterns or addictions or habits that no longer serve me and release. I am going to put myself out there and meet more new people. I am going to build the side hobby or business into growth, something that uh, is going to make me money in the long run here. But there are a lot of thoughts going through your mind at this time. And I feel like you're really going to get going. You're really going to um, have many doors open up to you. And again, we did get the two cards, the chariot, something coming in quick, some sort of news. And then we did get that eight of wands again coming in. So there is a lot of movement. Some of you may be traveling, even relocating, possibly a move as well. So uh, a lot of potential for you during this new moon cycle. So make sure you definitely utilize the energy cancer to uh, act on those choices, act on those opportunities that show up for you let's clarify the eight or excuse me the two of pentacles yes you're releasing you are moving forward with the six of swords energy and uh, you're leaving the past behind you and yes that is a challenge coming in because there's still a little bit of resistance there are some of you that still want to anchor whatever this never-ending cycle is or this place uh, that sometimes you feel a little bit more at home, but really the biggest part of you wants to lift up and you can see she's in the clouds and she's not quite anchored, but she's ready to leave the past in the past. So this can be people, this can be jobs, relationships, patterns, family members, friends uh, that possibly are just not serving you because there's no growth. And uh, you're moving through this spiritual journey or transition to something bigger and better and you're actually coming out on the other side stronger cancer so i love this for you all right let's take a look and see what energy you need to keep this momentum going because it looks like you have a lot coming in uh definitely a lot coming in oh wow oh wow we have the sun card the sun card is the energy to keep that momentum going this is your energy, very, very high frequency of calling in and manifesting abundance, Cancer. You're calling in success. You're calling in good health for yourself. This is all about enjoying your life, sharing it with those you love. It's about public recogni recognition and being lifted up at this time. You may be doing something that is putting you or keeping you in the spotlight. A lot of people are turning to you or looking to you uh, as motivation at this time as well so keep shining that beautiful light of yours not only are you beautiful inside you're beautiful outside as well and everybody is noticing this light that you're shining so this is how you can uh, keep that momentum going is don't lose that light because you are a fighter you are a warrior they're telling me and cancer there is not anything that you cannot accomplish if you manifest and put your mind to it so very powerful energy here. Spirit, can we please clarify the sun card for cancer? Please clarify the sun coming up for cancer as their motivator, their momentum. Yeah, something... Uh, you're not always patient is what I'm getting here with the temperance. And I feel like you have been waiting a long time to step into your power. So whatever it is that you're getting off this cycle, that you're cutting through the barriers here with the Ace of Swords, whatever communication is coming in, you've waited a long time to hear it. And um, you're going to keep going now that you've stepped a little bit into that light, that limelight is what I'm hearing here. Now that you've stepped into that, uh, patience is not stalled any longer you've been waiting for this moment for a while is what i am sensing so keep your energy high 
even when you feel a little bit stuck because we go through the ebb and flow of life that's what the wheel is all about right cancer so when you feel like things aren't moving as fast as you want or you're feeling a little bit stuck make sure that you're keeping that energy frequency high so you can manifest the things into your life even if it is in divine timing not always in your timing but whatever this is for you is coming in big and strong and i feel like it is unexpected all right let's take a look at the action steps what action steps can you take cancer to help you achieve this desired outcome all right intuition listen to your intuition here uh beautiful advice it's saying what is your gut trying to tell you uh what are the synchronicities signs symbols numbers and also paying attention to your dreams around the new moon into that full moon energy because I feel like spirit is talking to you at this time, but your intuition is really being highlighted. And this is uh, how you can achieve your desired outcome is by really um, tuning in. So maybe this is a new meditation practice that you have been um, doing a little bit more of. Perhaps it is some sort of energy work. Uh, perhaps some of you have been working with other like-minded individuals. Maybe you've been making a, a vision board as well. So there's a, a lot of intuition coming up very strong for you. And that is, again, how you can continue to move forward and achieve that desired outcome is listen to your intuition. Listen to what your gut is telling you. Uh, some of you actually may come up with you may have signs. So let's say uh, you have been thinking about moving and you may see a billboard that says um you know tampa florida or you may see something that says the land down under and uh you are th we're just thinking oh i'd really love to travel or move there so pay attention because i feel like the synchronicities are going to be boom 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 on point and uh you're going to manifest very very strongly okay we also have third eye chakra they're telling me three but now i see why third eye uh we have it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms such as angels auras and visions that again is that intuition piece here trusting that your third eye is activated and you are actually manifesting at rapid pace here at a rapid pace cancer we also have a little random energy coming in to inflame the answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship so if it is twin flame energy uh showing up for you i feel like you're cutting through barriers and you may be walking away leaving the past in the past and moving forward whether with a twin flame or without uh, that decision is yours but i feel like you are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and your light is emanating a lot of people are being very magnetized towards you at this time all right cancer and lastly before we close down your new moon reading we're just going to get a card from the soul truth for you to focus on uh, i do recommend either pause the video and really think of your answers here uh, or maybe even write this down the question we have here is when was the last time i danced freely when is the last time i danced freely it says dance because it will shift you into a beautiful state because it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart because fear lives in the head along with anxiety control guilt frustration and impatience in just a few minutes of dancing you will make the shift you will feel a change of joy and confidence take over and you will feel a soul reminder to live and lead from your heart Dancing is a tool to ground us in the now. It triggers happiness and it is a gateway to freedom. To become free, dance. Today's soul action, dance for three minutes to your favorite song. Notice the inward fire grow within you and the feeling you feel being you. You are a wild, loving force. Express it with dance today. Oh, I love this energy. Getting that first and second chakra, those hips um, moving and... Um, really bring getting out of your your head getting grounding yourself and getting into your body and heart like it says here so beautiful advice from spirit all right cancer that's what i have for you if this message resonates please feel free to hit that thumbs up uh that share that notification uh bell, bell button as well as subscribe if you haven't already and i look forward to tuning in to your energy next week lots of love